As a YouTube video creator, you want to be as productive with your time as possible so that you can upload more videos to the platform. And you could be making more videos faster with productive morning routines. On today's episode of YouTube Insider, I'm interviewing Cassandra Thompson, who's going to share her YouTube morning routines that have helped her to grow her channel to over 40,000 subscribers, where she gets millions of views and is even attracting brand deals now to her business. So let's go to that interview right now. I'm Owen Video and you're watching YouTube Insider. Owen Video! Success on YouTube is just as much about what you do and how you live your life as it is about the types of videos that you create. And I've brought in a business productivity expert who has a channel on YouTube to talk about morning rituals for YouTubers. That means things that we can do every single day in the morning to get our minds right, to put us in a place where our channels can grow. My mantra for the year is use the minutes, not the hours. So what was so happening good. was... That is so good. Thank you. I would come in from like taking my dog Teddy on a quick walk yeah. and it would be 546. I need to start getting ready at 6. I go, oh, I don't have time to work out. Right. And I went, yes, I do. I have 14 minutes. Do you know how many hit workouts you can yeah, do in 14 we tend to think minutes? In like six to seven. Ah, oh, between six and seven. Right. You know what I mean? It's like, right. I don't have the, yeah, I totally get exactly. that. Exactly. And so now I've been trying to use those, even if it's five minutes, I'm like, I can do some planks and some push ups. So true. And then six to seven is getting ready because I'm a girl and this takes a while. And then seven to eight is working in my business. Yeah. What's a morning routine? What is that all about? Why is it important? Yeah, so I have done morning routines before morning routines were even, at, like before that was a term. Yeah. So morning routine really at its essence is setting aside at least some extra time in your morning to do something for you before getting ready and going out into the world. So if you normally wake up at seven because you have to be at work at eight, or in your car at eight, and you only get up, make your coffee, get ready and leave, your day feels rushed. Right, you feel so kind of frumpy all day. Right, and so it's taking, it's saying, I'll get up a little bit earlier, or in my case, a lot earlier. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say. And adding in some time to either take a breath, get things done. It can be used a lot of different ways, yeah. but essentially just taking that time. I first started working out maybe like two or three years ago, and I the first thing that came to my mind when I would get out, because it was hard, right, mm -hmm. in the morning, was fill my brain with blood and oxygen, fill my brain with blood and oxygen. So even before, I wasn't even drinking water before, mm -hmm. I, or, but definitely no coffee, but I wanted the first thing my brain to experience was blood and oxygen. Why is it important that we as creators take time every day to prepare ourselves for the work ahead. Why does it matter? Yeah, it matters because number one, like research has shown, it takes away a ton of anxiety mm -hmm. because you're not running into something. Think about like when you run late and you run into a meeting yep. and you're flustered. When you just get up and go straight into getting ready and leaving, you're bringing that energy into the day. Yep. So having a routine no matter what gives you that like a little bit more calm and a little bit more control, which don't we all like control it, it in our is. world today? I, it is. To like move through your day, which is going to show up in the way you do your work for your video. Yeah, and that's why, you know, the, the morning ritual of like plan, like calendaring, like just looking at my calendar was so big for me and, and seeing like, oh my gosh, like now nothing can surprise me today, right? Totally. I know what's going up. So what are yeah. some of the, the routines, the morning routines that a YouTube creator and really anybody who's building a professional brand, right? Yeah. And, and going through the, the work of creation, what are some of the morning routines that we can use in our lives? Oh, there are so many, but a couple of things I would think about. What's missing in your schedule? So if you have heard us talking so far and you're like, oh my gosh, I just need that breath, even though it won't feel like it's gonna help your creativity, if yours is getting up 10 minutes earlier to like make the cup of coffee and savor it for a second oh, and wow. just sit and come together. Just breathe it in and yeah, enjoy like it. Yeah, like just taking a moment and not scrolling, like go for that or the complete opposite, what is that project that has been on your to-do list for your channel that is never getting done? Yeah, it's the, good. I'll get to it someday, but yeah. someday never comes, y'all. That's right. So maybe it's taking a half hour in the morning to work on that other project. That's like, so good. Repurposing content, I'll be honest, like mine should be repurposing content. Yeah. 
That should be my half hour in the morning. Getting it on Instagram yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, one of the first times I ever got up early, because I am not a morning person. Are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Let me know in the comment section, because I was selling a lot of clients and I had to make a lot of videos. So I remember I was like, you know what? I'm going to get up at five o'clock and I'm going to go get coffee and sit on the coffee table before anyone gets up and I'm going to bust out the content for this particular client. Yeah. Just that thing put me in this place where I'm like, that was really cool. Yeah. You know, I felt great and my I had energy before anybody else was uh, was waking up. So what are some other uh, rituals that we can uh, get into in the morning to to put our mind right? Yeah, I um, I love the idea of writing in the morning. I think a lot of people use morning time to get the writing portion done, whether yeah. it's your videos or articles or whatever. Anything that you want to create a ritual around. Yeah, I think morning is the best time to do it. Yeah. So if that's writing, if that's filming, like I'll be honest, my camera is set up to just go so record right, all times, and I can like thing. bust something out in the morning if I needed to. But I think it's really figuring out like what the thing is for you. So it might be, cause once again, it's more that whatever you do in the morning will affect the rest of your day. Mm -hmm. So it might be peripheral to the actual creator work. Mm -hmm. It might be that working out that you never do, but you want to look better on camera. Well, you got to do one to get the yeah, other, yeah. right? So it could be working out. Quiet time is the cornerstone of my morning. So I read and pray in the morning. Yeah. I know other people meditate in the morning, rewriting your goals is a great thing to do. Who set goals? Yeah, on January 1st and you go back and look at that now and go, "Oh yeah, I wrote that day." Like yeah, remember I that? said I was going to do that thing. I was so over so, when I wrote that. Right. So it's like just go read it, like write them again so you remember. So those are some things to do too. Planning is a great one yeah. or if I'm a write out the schedule the day before and then look at it again in the morning, 2 minutes. Okay, so my morning routine is crazy. I get up at 4:30. Wow. I leave at 8 a.m. to head to work. I am not the rule, okay? Like, right. I want you to know, like, 15 minutes. Get up 15 yeah, minutes yeah, earlier that's, that's and big. do something. Yeah, even having that cup of coffee while you're looking at your goals. I think, yes. I, I love what you said about just savor it. My thing is, without that time, you're no good. Right. to anybody else, right? Right. Like you need to be, like you got to put on your oxygen mask, yes. uh, oxygen mask Before first. Putting on a right. If you're a night owl, I am not telling you that you need to wake up super early. Good. If that's when your motivation wow. is and you get things done, great. So part of the reason I wake up at 4.30 is because I realized I'm good for nothing after five. So true. Like by eight o'clock, I was staying up and watching TV just because it's the socially acceptable thing to do. Yeah, it's like I don't want to go to bed yet. Right, I was like, oh, I shouldn't go to bed because it's weird for people to go to bed at 8.30 <laughs> yeah. at this age. Yeah. And I went, wait, but I could go to oh. bed and wake up earlier and get all this stuff ah. done when I'm productive. So me, that's so me. So that is why I wake up so extremely early. It works so for you. It works for but me. But if you're a night owl, do a night routine or something, yes. right? You yeah, can change of... it up. Or your morning routine starts at 9.30. Oh, good for even, you. Yeah, like, good, good, good. Or even 2.30 if you're one. at that phase. Right, right. right. If you were 19 and in college, yeah, it's when like you get up right at when noon. when you wake up, right though? Yeah, but that's yeah. what it is. Yes, it's the things you do first. So. I get up, I make my cup of iced coffee because I only drink iced coffee, doesn't matter the weather. And I have my quiet time for about 30 minutes. Yeah. Then I wake my dog up, we go on a quick walk. I come back and get ready. Uh, and then I will, and in that time at some point, I write my goals too, I do some gratitude stuff. Do you use your journal in the morning? Oh yeah. I will journal, sometimes I am a very big fan of like the line a day journal. Yeah. Because sometimes you don't have more time than that. That's why I say like, if you're a night owl, take this and yeah, put it to evenings if you want. And in the morning, just let yourself come to. Like, it's all about energy levels yeah. at just the end take, of the day. You know, find something to go into your day with power, with confidence, without surprise, so that when you hit your channel content and your YouTube content, you are hitting it with your best and your best ideas and your channel is growing and your business is moving just like Cassandra's. Great to have you on the channel. Thanks. Thanks for letting me be here. Yeah, we got to go. We've got more conference stuff to do. So I will see you soon, guys. Stick around. Tons more coming up. Owen Video, Social Media Marketing World 2020. See you soon.